hire the planner first. Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. You know, I um, was having a conversation with some folks a couple days ago. Uh, they're looking at basically developing a new a new uh, section, uh, kind of a new marketing end to their business. And uh, it, it was very interesting conversation because we were discussing how how one would go about doing that. And the one thing that uh, I, I, well, I, I went about how I'd go about doing it, but it's because I have, I have the instincts of a planner. And so I, I plan things out pretty easily and can organize things. And I can also move with things if they don't turn out exactly right, you know, and so forth. So it was it was interesting to me to to talk about that because as we were discussing it, I realized that most people when they're when they're putting together a team of people, they don't necessarily take that into mind because uh, there's so many different pieces that you need to a team. One of the main pieces you need is an organizer. the The funny thing is, is a planner, a, a strategic. Uh, uh, kind of visionary mind is not oftentimes the same person as the organizer. The organizer, the follow-through person, the, the person who can keep everything going, all these different uh, plates spinning, <laughs> you know, that, that I always use that term, plate spinning. I realize a lot of people don't realize what I'm talking about um, on the old Ed Sullivan show, and this comes from the old vaudeville days, where they would they have the the plates on the end of a of a long stick, and it's balancing on there, and they they spin the plates, and the plates are spinning on on, on the end. And the only thing that keeps them going from falling off is the fact that they're spinning. So they get one going, and they come over here, and they get some more going. And then they have to go back and and get that one moving, get this one moving, and then they'll start a third one. And pretty soon they have a whole bunch of them. But they're having to constantly. It's a juggling act in a sense. You're having to go in circles to keep the momentum running. And so I talk about a lot of people use the the phrase spinning plates, and that's what ends up happening. Is certain personalities can handle the spinning of plates. They can handle watching 10, watching over 10 different people with 10 completely different functions and realize how each of those all uh, work together. It's not my thing. I'm not very good at that. I know what needs to happen and I have an idea in general what each person needs to do, but knowing where each person is at at each point and keeping on top of them to make sure they're in with the schedule, that's, that's never been my thing. I have a difficult time keeping my own brain in, in, on track as opposed to trying to keep that many people. But one thing I'm good at, like I mentioned, is the planning stage of things. And so seeing what they were looking at doing, I said, you need someone that knows what the end game is, has kind of a big picture, and what I'd recommend is hiring that person first and then having them hire or, or be involved in the hiring of the organized mind, the person that is going to be, in a sense, the project manager, as, as one person put it. So we had a great conversation. It was a great uh, introduction. It was one of those things that, something to keep in mind, when you are building a project out, make sure you have that visionary person first. If you've already got that person on staff, if you already have that, perfect. Now you go into the detail, you know, grab your detail-oriented project manager to then handle all the rest of it, handle all the details. But in terms of having a very broad-based view of what needs to happen and how to handle things when they go the wrong way, you got to get that person first. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, it's all part of what I teach here and throughout uh, my book and other places. You check out my book, Nine Ways to Amazon Proof Your Business. You can go grab a free copy at amazonproofbook.com. And also, if you understand brianjpombo.com, that's kind of the universe that shows all the different things that, that we've been working on, the podcasts and everything else, they all center around three major tenets or pillars. And it comes down to being relationship reliant, on one hand, system based, but at the same time reality grounded. 
Those three things are the three pillars. I'm going to go through those again uh, in the next couple episodes. So return tomorrow and we'll talk about that a little. Uh, it's great seeing you. We'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.